Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today I'm outside. It's beautiful weather. Actually, it's so beautiful that my eyes are gonna. Oh, it's too much. I uh, don't know where to point the camera because everything is bad. If I go the opposite way, it will be the background will be too lit up and uh, you won't be able to see me. So I'm just standing here with all the sun coming in on my face. The camera is able to make this look okay, but I look like someone who Asian eyes. <laughs> but my mom has bought a hench cutter for a couple of years ago and together with a, a mon trimmer, like a grass trimmer and uh, they're not working anymore and I have concluded I have concluded that it's the battery that is bad I've been measuring on this so I just wanted to try and, and take this apart and see uh, why this is not working so let's go have a look at that here is the battery it has kind of a long cord and uh, it has a little bit of little tiny charger it's, it's this one like that one and this is only uh, this is very dirty let's just let's just dry that off <laughs> two this is a 21 volt 300 milliamps so it would be a shame to call this a fast charger and I don't think they do so but let's plug it in and take it out and this thing oh there it is this is just something to to put in the, the charger here that goes into the battery and the battery looks like this kind of a weird system but, well that's how that is and the brand is Miraco I went visited their tool shop in another video earlier this year you can go see that but this should be okay it's a they claim it's a lithium ion battery but I can tell you that there's really not much weight to this. It's so lightweight. So I'm a bit worried what's inside of this. It feels like it's just a little bit tiny battery that I put in there. Yeah, let's I have a I have a really cheap multimeter here and we're just gonna be measuring some voltage and it's it's okay for that. Angle that a little bit. We see that we can see that fine so the first thing I did was I measured if there's anything coming out of this charger and yes it claims that there's coming 20 volt 20.9 20 volts out of that so that should be good so if we plug that in there I just wanted to make sure if that voltage also reached the battery so I put in the clamps here and that also sees 20.9 volts so that should be good too then I measured the battery and that was these two and that's 34 millivolts so that's no good you need a thousand millivolts just to make one volt so absolutely nothing so something is wrong inside of the battery I have had this on the charger for half an hour just to see what would happen so let's take this apart and see what's inside and why it's not working There is considerably more electronics in this thing that I had foreseen. Well, I've just been I've been checking out the different cells. Let's, let's just show you that as well. Every cell is like 
totally depleted. There is nothing on here, it's all small milli walls. So I think we will take this into the basement and try and, and give every cell just a little bit of a charge and see what happens there. Here we are in the basement and I have my laboratory power supply and the battery here. And I just need to be sure what's plus and minus on these cells. This one is usually minus. Uh, the, the big surfaced one is usually minus and the small one is usually plus. I'll bet that is... It's, it's, there's a plus down here, so that's probably true here too. But just to make sure, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna measure one of the cells. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. Just using the meter here, just to see if the millivolts was in the right direction. So I set the laboratory's power supply to five volts. These cells are 3.7 volts each. You can kind of see that in here. Oh, 3.6 volts each, 1300 milliamps. That's not very much. They are available in much better quality nowadays. And I think also they are available in bigger sizes than this one. This is tiny. It's as if they have they put in some fillers here, those round plastic rings, uh, so that this, this holder could take some bigger batteries uh, instead of these tiny ones. That's kind of a shame because then it would have been able to produce some power. Let's see if we can relive some of these. I'm just gonna be putting 5 volts, 400 milliamps onto the batteries. Let's see if it will go in power. It does actually draw some power. Take the next one. That also takes some power. And the next one. That is also charging just a little bit. I'll go get us some safety glasses. I don't like this. Okay, now with safety glasses on. The batteries are definitely drawing all the 400 millivolts they're able to get. should hopefully see some we now have over one volt let's try and put the clamps on here instead see if that will take a charge and we will go up on the power supply to about the oh it's already charging so probably that little charger is just not able to um, to maintain those batteries because they are so low in voltage so they are just pull it down. Right now we're charging with 10 volts and it's drawing the 400 milliamps that I've uh, limited it to. Uh, I might just give it a little bit extra. These should be able to charge with some more. So let's, let's give them 600. That's about there. Make sure the voltage is good. Let's, see. let's say 20 volts. Okay, I'm gonna let this charge for a little bit and we'll get back to it. So this has been charging for almost an hour and the voltage is up to 18 volts and it's still drawing 600 amps. So it still needs some charging. Um, I'm just curious to see if, it, if it's taking the voltage. So we'll just stop charging for a little bit and measure the voltage on the leads. It's up to 18 point, and now it's dropping a little, 18 point, just around 18.3 volts, which is very nice. Well, I'll leave the charger on there for a little bit longer and see if we can get this up to a point where it's no longer taking the full current. There we 
yeah and it's over here it's it's again taking the 600 milliamps it should be able to do that for probably a couple of hours before these small cells are fully charged at least another hour has passed and I can now see that the, the battery charges up to 20 volts and as soon as I turn that down the amperage falls so they're good up there just go, I'm gonna set it to 21 volts as the little charger was doing there and it's still charging with 600 milliamps I am guessing that that will drop very soon when it's already at 20 point something volts we could just take the meter and see what the voltage actually is Let's see. just measure that over here yeah the voltage is at 20 point 38 volts probably it will stop taking as big a charge in not very long it has been charging for a couple of hours at least and i am charging it with 600 milliamps which is twice as much as the little charger out there what i think has happened is that these batteries has become so depleted that the little charger was not able to push any current into them when when the little charger was trying to charge this it would just short circuit and it would not be charging these batteries this big laboratory's power supply is able to push out a lot more and doesn't care about having to push out some more power into these and it helped when i did the sills one at a time i was able to push it over the limit where the batteries were taking a good charge i think and hope that this is gonna work I'm gonna give it a little longer and see if we can have these 600 milliamps drop so that the batteries will be fully charged. Well, it has just shut off. I was actually down here looking at it, thinking, why isn't this stopping? And then suddenly it dropped to zero amps. So my best guess is that the electronic on the back of these batteries has told the, the batteries that they're fully charged now. We can see that it's not drawing any power right now. Let's measure this and measure the voltage that's 20.21 at the batteries right now and let's just measure some cells that's 4.1 volts minus 4.1 4.1 4.16 4 and 4.1 so actually the electronics is pretty good at keeping the cells at the same level that's pretty neat I'll just try and hook up the power supply again and see if the voltage has dropped enough so that the, the charge board wanna charge it again. No, it's not charging anymore. Let's go out and put this together again and see if it works. Let's just measure the voltage while we are at it. Check if it's still good. We are measuring 19.9 .9 volts. 19.9 .9 volts. Okay. Let's put it in something and see if it's if it works. Here is the grass trimmer. Let's put in the battery. Oh, it, it says a sound. Let's go cut some grass. This is a bit long. And 20 volt cable is probably not good to cut that. That's, that's gonna be a sad day. 
Let's get you over here. Okay, I would say that is a success. Totally dead battery. Now able to run the grass trimmer. Let's have it over in this hench cutter. Oh, the battery jumped out again. Need some persuasion. Let's go cut some hench. I did this one not long time ago, so I don't think we will cut that again. Let's do a little bit over here. Really not bad. Let's see if we find something else that needs this. This sticks out. Let's see if we can take some of that out. Not bad. Pretty thick. And I see some more down here. Oh, that needs cutting too. This one is sticking out far. So that was, it was barely two minutes of, of work with the machine, but let's, let's go and measure the battery voltage and see what we're down to. We're at 19.7 volts right now. I'm sure that I can go home now with these tools and deliver them back to my mom and be favorite son of the week. That might even be a favorite son of the week award. So, but before I do that, I want to make sure that this charger is actually able to charge it now that the voltage is high enough. So I'm gonna be connecting it. So oh, here's the charger. Let's put some power onto that. We will be measuring 21 volts in this guy. Those two. 20.9, close enough. So can we do this? No, I'm actually not, I'm not able to measure anything when, uh, then I should have to take it all apart again. Uh, okay. We'll do that. Okay, I took it apart again, so let's, let's put this on. It goes like that. It would have been really great if they had put an LED on here just to show us that this thing would be charging, but they didn't. Let's see if it... Yeah, there is 19... There's 20 volts on it right now. Let's just get this into view. 19.9 volts on it. So my best estimate is that it's charging okay now. If we take this off, see what the voltage is then. Then it's 19.85. If we put this on, there the voltage goes up, which must mean that it's pumping some kind of power into it. Yeah, it's not much, but it's a little bit. I'm gonna keep this on the charger for just a little bit and bring it back home. Well, so now I'm ready to go home and receive the Best Son of the Week award from Mom. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. And uh, do use the like button down there. I like that. Bye-bye.